So you're telling me I don't have power in certain areas, which means I would need to come in here, right? Okay, so isn't it? Boom. Boom. And I move this one down. And this one up. And then this one down. Yeah. Makes sense. I like the scaling aspect of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say those types of games don't take skill, they just they take a particular skill that I don't really have. And plus I'm not very patient, you know. Eventually I would love to try something like Dark Souls because as anybody who's seen me play, you know, fighting games or die a lot in video games knows, I have some some anger demons to work out. Which I think would be perfect. Handle is moves, but I can't loose, but I can't move move it along move it along. I didn't mean like you have to be skilled. Oh, you mean like the whole, you know, you have to pick certain skills in order to do certain things. Bada. Ammo? Ammo? No? Skilling is in there's tons of skill to get from... You mean like, yeah. See, I've never liked that. I'm like, I, I like the RPG aspect of, like, you know, putting skills into certain things. Like in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout, uh, Fallout 3 and 4 and everything. No, I don't think the skill thing's in 4. But, um, I've never really liked, um... Oh boy. We're in trouble. I wish I could see the dog. Damn it! I was trying not to get fucking cornered. The camera angle screwing me over here. Shit. Okay, problem solved. No more doggos. Will you go down the ladder? I mean, I really don't have a choice. Please tell me this is a save room, because I need to put some shit up. Yes, it is. Just what I need. And I've noticed that in this game, anytime you do get a save room... They actually give you some damn ink ribbons. There were a couple of times in um, one where it was like, dude, what the fuck? I mean, like, I always had plenty of ink ribbons, but, you know, every time you get a new typewriter, it would be nice to at least get one. Instead, they would put them in weird places, like in the mines, but then expect you to have taken and carried your ink ribbons with you. While only giving you five, six inventory slots with Chris, shit didn't make any sense. So you can tell improvements were made to the formula. Like, Resident Evil 1, the original one, can really fuck you over. Sometimes, if you don't have an idea of what to expect next, when you go into a new area, or 
or, you know, just a, a general idea of what to do in general. Uh, you're supposed to do a lot more avoiding in this game. I mean, in that game than you are in this game. In this game, it seems like they kind of give you some pretty good tools to work with. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. Why not? What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. I don't think that's a good idea. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Okay. Guess we're playing as her now. Her run is nowhere near as fast, but I guess it'll have to do. I can't remember, but I think it's actually pretty damn hard to get hit. I share it, because all they can do is spit acid at you. And they're really fucking slow about it. They can't bite her. I wonder if that's going to change in the remake, too. You know? If she's going to be able to be bitten. Because I don't know if the acid spitting is going to be a thing. When I, when I played... Um... When I played the demo, no zombie really spat acid at me, but it was pretty cool seeing how biting works now. Um, so when you get grabbed, you're not immediately bitten because of the whole knife mechanic. And when you do get bit, you don't have to try to mash buttons to get out of it. I think it does a set amount of damage, and that's that. Unless I'm mistaken. And the amount you mash reduces the damage that you take from the bite. But, um, instead of getting repeatedly bitten and have to mash the buttons, it's always like one bite that does a, a set amount of damage. But you can actually see the bites visible on your character when you get bit. And they go away when you heal, but... Like, if you get bit on the neck, it'll be there. And cutscenes and shit, I think it's really cool. I made a new account, and my goal was just to get to the... No, 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 no. I've done that, and I made anything for 70s. Yeah, like, I don't mind... I don't mind, uh, skills and things. It's just, I really hate when, you know, I'm playing an RPG and then, you know, I'm trying to do something, but the route I want to take has some ridiculous ass amount of points as a requirement that you had have to have in order to do that thing. I much prefer the Mass Effect. Hold on. Are you there? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Let me guess, you can't get back. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. 
Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. I was saying, yeah, I, p I prefer the Mass Effect way of doing things, where, um, you know, usually it's bit you can you can go you can go one direction you can go one direction you can say one thing and it'll lead to something else, or you know, instead of having a speech requirement or like. A, s a certain amount of skill in one area to be able to, you know, say, you know, something that's, you know, a really good remark or a really evil remark. Uh, you kind of just press a trigger and you'll do an evil action, or you'll do a, you'll do a good action, or you can do nothing and stay neutral. Which is the way I like to play my games. I like being pretty neutral. Um, I don't like when a game rewards you for, you know, going down an objective path of, like, good or evil. I prefer for it to be, you know, kind of a, a build-your-own kind of character type of deal. Where you can do some good shit and you can do some bad shit, but uh, you're not... You don't get you know, objectively better rewards for going completely down one path. We now have access to the parking lot. I'm assuming there's something in the parking lot that I will need. Like maybe the key card for the, uh, the weapons locker. Or the, the weapons room. Did you fuckers just respawn again? What kind of bullshit is this? Motherfucker. to the parking lot. Great. I'm almost out of ammo. That's not good. No bueno. This shit better be worth it. For all the ammo I just fucking wasted, this shit better be hella worth it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, all right. All right. Anyway, let's see what we're working with. Oh, 
Now this dude got fucked up. I'll be back for those arrow parts. I gotta make some space. Would you die already? Fuck. In caution, but I have a square crank now. Um, I gotta come back down here. Either that, or I could try to grab that that bow ammo in one fair swoop and try to get the hell out of here. That seems like the best best course of action here. Grab the bow ammo because I'm almost out of pistol bullets. Pistol bullets can't be used by themselves. There's no point in trying to get this film, I already know what it says. break for it boys yeah, I gotta go put some shit up and then we gotta head back down here Surprisingly, <laughs> great in a position where I can't see shit again. This fixed camera angle shit is just so irritating. Look at how much ammo I'm wasting, man. Ugh. 
Probably safe. Game saved. How many encryptions do I have? Seven. Let's kind of go light on them for right now. I gotta head back through that hall again. I have more health items and I have more um, ammo. I mean, I have more health items than ammo. It might be good to just try to tank through that. See what happens. I don't think they respawn that quick. All right, what's in here? Nothing in this locker. What the fuck's the point then? For some acid rounds? I mean, I guess. Nothing in these lockers at all. More ink ribbons. That's good.
I took to put some of this shit up. Again. The crank I don't need just yet. Keep it used. Oh shit! I didn't even think about it. Fuck, we gotta go back. zombies are in here. that this key opens this door when I was thinking about where the fuck the last door could be. Hitboxes, man. God damn it. You wanted to aim at the damn liquor. Instead, it shall aim right over his goddamn head. So you go, okay, obviously I'm supposed to be aiming down. And the hits, the, you shoot the shot and it still fucking whips. It doesn't make any damn sense. Thank you. 